We have all been in a situation where we are working on a project and out of nowhere the app running it crashes or our OS freezes. And if our work is unsaved, oh boy, it can be incredibly frustrating. There can be numerous reasons to this such as faulty storage drive, software bugs, virus attack, frequent power cuts impacting power supply, etc. Any of these things can lead to corrupt files or directories which can make the project file unusable. Corrupt file errors can be unpredictable and happen when least expected. The good thing about Windows 11 is that it comes with some good built-in utilities that can help you repair your corrupt files easily. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you 5 tips to repair such files which can be a real lifesaver. Let's begin. The Windows operating system incorporates a robust built-in tool known as the System File Checker. This tool allows you to verify the integrity of Windows files and if any corrupt or missing files are detected, it will automatically replace them with the copies sourced from the Windows file cache. To use this, open command prompt using admin rights and type in this command. This command might be familiar to you when troubleshooting any issue. It stands as the primary step given that various issues are solved at this stage. This process can take several minutes, so be patient. If SFC is able to repair the corrupted files, it will display this message. Or in case it wasn't fixed, then it would show you a message like this. Once completed, you should restart your computer and test it again. This approach will allow you to truly know if your corrupt files have been fixed or not. In instance where a corrupt file remains unrepaired, moving on to the next method becomes necessary. Deployment Image Servicing and Management, also called as DISM, is one of the more powerful command line tools that can be used to repair most of the corrupt files, particularly those tied to the OS. Once again, open command prompt with administrative privileges and enter the following command. The key distinction here lies in this tool's approach is that it replaces the corrupt files or missing files with a clean version taken from the Windows system image and not from the file cache. Essentially, the latest versions will be downloaded using Windows updates. In case the Windows update feature is broken, you should then use Windows installation media to source these files. While this process does demand some time, it has a higher chance of solving of corrupt files. Following the completion of the process, restart your computer and run the SFC command to verify that the files have been fixed. If you are having issues pertaining to Windows OS, then another tool which can come in handy is to perform a check on your storage drive. This utility is designed to scan and resolve bad sectors and corrupted files in your storage drive. It's a very simple method, let's check it out. Using admin permission in command prompt, type in chkdsk followed by drive name you want to scan and repair colon space slash r space slash f. Now hit enter and it should start the process. So the R command will help to locate bad sectors and recover any readable information from them. Whereas the F command will fix any errors found within your drive. In case you're doing this on the drive where your windows is installed, it will do this process during the next boot. The duration of this process will depend on factors such as the size of your drive, volume of stored data and others. After it's completed, log in and assess whether your issue has been fixed or not. If you haven't had any luck in accessing your project file, then another option that may work is to use the repair feature integrated within certain apps. Notably, apps like Microsoft's Office or Adobe Software offer this functionality, allowing you to repair a damaged or a corrupt file. Another method that can be used is to revert to an earlier version of the same file. It's crucial to emphasize that the effectiveness of this method relies on the availability of a previous version of the file. System Restore should be considered as the final option when addressing issues related to corrupt files. This feature enables you to revert your computer to the previous point in time when your computer was functioning properly. It's worth noting that this action will reinstate your system settings and apps to the state they were in at the selected restore point. But you don't have to worry about any of your personal files as they remain unaffected by this process. To do this, 
navigate to control panel, open the recovery section and choose system restore option. From here, choose a restore point that is before the problem started. This will take some time, restart your computer and it should fix your issue. If you don't have one, you can always choose to create from here and in future, if you have any issue, then revisit the earlier mentioned steps to fix it. There you have it. These methods will help to repair your corrupted files. Although there's no 100% guarantee, but with the methods I've shown, you'll stand a good chance to get your work going once again. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your circles. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a new video.